today's Labor Day, and uh, we're gonna celebrate Labor Day with some labor. First thing I do this morning is to service the combine, which is the uh, worst part of the day. By the way, if there's a lot of wind noise in this video, my bad. I try to put little, um, what you call it, fuzzy things over the microphones to uh, kind of dampen the wind noise, but it helped, but it didn't fix it. So bear with me. The fuel pump is so loud and it's so annoying. But you gotta deal with it. Also, we ran out of grease. Oh, dang it. I got chaff in my eyeball. But I'm done servicing, so. Dibs gets to go run around. I think Chewy's out here somewhere, so. I'm sure they're gonna go find each other and run around. Sit. No. Dibs, sit. dog. I just got a low coolant code and uh, I thought the combine was just playing tricks on me. So I killed the combine, walked up there, and uh, sure enough, I have a hole in my uh, water tank. So anything that is above that hole got poured out. You can see there's the code again. Anything above that hole um, in the tank, it's, it just drained it out. So I'm gonna dump off into Cody, and then uh, I guess go park this thing by Dad's pickup. And uh, we're gonna need a new tank. So that's pretty handy. Also, Tessa's riding with Mom, so uh, that's where she went. Well, Dad looked up the part number, and 
I think John Deere has one in stock. So I'm gonna head to John Deere and uh, go get a coolant take. It's probably 30 minutes away from the field. And I'm also gonna pick up, I think two, no, four gallons of coolant. So that's what we're doing. Looks like Gooseneck got a 790. Pretty sweet. Well, we made it to John Deere. I'm going to run in and get the part. All right, I uh, got the tank. It looks something like that, which looks about right. And I also got two two gallons of coolant. Also, if you're wondering how much that tank costs, it costs $333.79. And the two gallons of coolant costs $43.64, bringing our total to $426.74. Ouch. And we're only getting four gallons of coolant because it didn't drain the entire system. We were thinking it just drained, you know, while it was in the tank. So four gallons should be plenty. Anyways, I'm heading back out to the field. The field that we're working on right now is, I believe, 760-ish acres. And uh, we've almost got that wiped out today. And it is four o'clock in the afternoon right now. So six combines make a world of difference. But we're pulling up to the field here. Hopefully dad has all of it tore apart. Pulled up to the field and uh, I'm gonna hold him a tire. Like, what is that? It's a nail or something. I don't know. The day just keeps on getting better. Some water. The hole is right here. I'm sure you can't see that though, but anyways, that thing's dirty. Okay, moment of truth. to it you just bolt it up there put on your couple of lines plug in your sensors and put the cover back on obviously fill the tank up as well but uh pretty simple it is now 402 and uh we're going to the next one i think they have a couple more passes on this field and i'm going to this one on the horizon over there
Well, we ended up finishing the field, and um, the four combines are down the road just a little bit, and uh, I think they just have a bunch of patches left. And you can imagine six combines trying to tackle a bunch of patches, especially two combines that have never been to that field and trying to find the patches that the other four combines left in the middle of the night. Yeah, I'd be a mess. So, um, we're just gonna park for the night right here. I think Cody still has to dump on an 18-wheeler, so uh, I don't know if Dad or Tafari is first, but I think they're gonna come and get the grain cart empty, or the grain from the grain cart to get Cody empty. It's too late. We have to make this uh, long hike back to those grain bins. I'm not too sure if you can even see that far. It's probably like black for y'all, but <sighs> we have to walk in the dark. It's kind of scary and I'm hearing birds fly off in the distance. But today was a pretty good day. Um, not as good of a day as yesterday, or at least for me because I broke down for a couple of hours. But needless to say, it was a pretty good day. Tess is in the pickup right now. And uh, the plans right now um, are the other four combines are going to pull off and go to Canola tomorrow. And then mom and I are going to stay on wheat. But uh, those plans can change 500 times. How many acres did you cut today? Like only 123, I think. 143. It was 143. I was about to say, I cut 113 or something. I win. I broke down. I even better. I win. Well, technically you didn't win because you have a $433 parts bill you got to pay now. That was your breakdown, though. <laughs> so all, all that extra acreage is going to uh, my part. It's in the seat. It ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's flat. I think it'll make it. You think it'll make it? Yeah, I think so too. Send it. See, if you go fast enough, then we'll do it. We'll pop a wheelie all the way to town. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the camper without the tire going flat. But As always, don't forget, hats are now available in the link in my description, as well as 4G harvesting shirts. So, you should go check that out. And uh, if you want to support this channel just a little bit more, um, go ahead and uh, go buy you a couple t-shirts as well as a couple of hats. But I think that just about wraps up today's hectic day. I always have tire problems. Why is that? I don't know. Anyways, I think that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.